Let's talk about making concrete. How do you pour concrete in the dead of winter? Concrete producers have utilized several methods over the years, but what is the best way to meet customer specifications and increase profits during the winter months? Mixing, delivering, and pouring quality concrete in the coldest parts of the country is a challenge concrete producers must overcome. Nowadays, even the contractors are specifying hot concrete for faster curing, quicker setup, and increased productivity overall. Top concrete producers combine hot water with cement and aggregate mixtures to create hot concrete, meeting contractor specifications year round. If you're not producing hot concrete, chances are they're buying it from your competitor. Most government projects, including highways, bridges, and utility improvements, require stringent concrete temperature specifications. Proper concrete temperatures increases strength and greatly reduces cracking due to shrinkage. Because of these requirements, contractors are willing and expect to pay a premium for hot concrete, which opens up additional bidding opportunities for concrete producers. A lot of DOT jobs are that way and I, I don't know off the top of my head what the for if it's a bridge or paving that all varies on what their requirements are it can only be so cold or so warm they've got they got temperature regulations on both ends of it concrete demand is rising every day forcing contractors and producers to extend their pouring season without access to hot water contractors and producers may need to shut down for several months with the hot water that gives us an extended season you know for the winter winter months a lot of companies, if they don't have water heater, they'll close in November, December, depending on what the winter is. Additionally, hot concrete kicks off with less or zero admixtures, saving concrete producers money. Kickoff is defined as the chemical reaction which initiates the curing process. So the hot water also accelerates the cure time along with additives, um, just so you don't have to fight the cold weather so much. It can get below zero. Um, Usually we like to stick around that 30 degree mark before we haul ready mix. A lot of times we're down to that 20 or 10 degrees, um, but if we can get it there, they'll take it. Concrete producers such as Tri-State Ready Mix here in Iowa realize the value of hot water and have been using a water heater for over 50 years. Years ago we put a hot water system in. Um, we use it because our aggregate is not heated all the time. Uh, a lot of times they bring aggregate in that's frozen. Uh, we use it to help warm up the aggregate, the sand and the rock. It also makes us uh, uh, available that we can haul ready mix in the winter time. Producers like Tri-State often prefer the concrete leave the facility at 65 degrees Fahrenheit. In order to achieve this, producers vary the water temperature depending on ambient and aggregate temperatures to dial in their final concrete temperatures. We like it to be in the 60 to 70 degree range if we can hold the concrete temperature at that. In the fall of the year, we'll set the temperature in the heater to probably run 120, 130, and as the temperatures go down with the aggregate temperatures, then we'll run the water hotter. If you'd like to precisely calculate the temperature of water required for a certain concrete spec, check out our free online calculator. It's linked in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.